Hey guys, Michael Ruth back for a quick locals winter tip from the Vail Valley. So there's a couple things that we think of when we get towards winter and uh, one of them a lot of times we don't think of early enough, right? The grass is starting to brown up, leaves are falling off the trees and we can still anticipate this one and that's getting our vehicles ready for winter rather than waiting till that first snowstorm when we're all sliding around the road. So a couple of things that I do uh, as it comes to winter. One, I'm gonna top off my windshield wiper reservoir and I'm gonna make sure that I've either got something that goes way below what the uh, freezing temp is or I'll add a booster to it. It's really easy to add a booster if you've already got windshield wiper fluid in there, that fits in, lowers the freezing temp so that in the mornings when you hit that windshield wiper and you add some fluid to it, you don't just end up icing over, but you actually get a nice clear view out your window. The other, and I'm terrible at this, right? I always wanna squeeze the last few miles out of my tires. And as you can see, uh, a little bit there, it's a little shaded. I might be able to get another summer out of those, but I certainly cannot get safely through a winter. So anticipating that, ordering your new tires, I actually go online and then I take them to one of the local tire shops to mount them. Um, but uh, whatever it is, anticipate that while it's still sunny out. If you wait till that first snowstorm, your wait might be one, two, three days, if not a week out to get your tires mounted. And by then you may have slid through those stop signs over those curbs and into, well, places you don't wanna slide into. So the other thing that I do, I make sure I've got a quick kit bag. I've always got some emergency supplies in my vehicles, whether it's mine or my wife's or, um, but I add to it in the winter. So I've got an old pair of winter boots, just in case I'm wearing something that's not really appropriate for trudging through snow and I got stuck, right? I don't really wanna wander through the snow in that, but I can throw these on. I will actually take a small shovel. It's almost like just a little avalanche shovel if you're a backcountry skier. And I just keep that in my truck just in case I need to dig myself out of something that I didn't mean to slide into. I also grab a tow cable that's just a little bit beefier, right? In case I need to help somebody else out or they need to help me get out of a sticky situation. No pun intended there. <laughs> and then uh, typically we've got gloves in the truck in the winter just because we're wearing them around town. But just in case I grab an older pair of ski gloves, it's just something I can throw on if I needed to stay warm a little longer on a walk in. And of course, a beanie that just lives in the vehicle. Um, oh, two more things. One, an ice scraper. A lot of times I will take this in and out of the house every night, right? Because the last thing I wanna do is have to clear the snow off of the truck to get to the ice scraper, snow scraper, that I want to use to clear the snow off the truck. So I've got one in the truck at all times and I've got this one that's a little longer so I can reach all the way across the windshield. Um, the last piece that I've got is a tarp because if I do have an issue, if I do need to get a tire change or crawl around or, or mess with any of this stuff, I really don't wanna be rolling around in the snow in my street clothes. So I just take all that stuff, I pack it all up nice and tight into a little duffel bag and uh, throw it in the back of the truck. It doesn't take up hardly any space. And then I know I am prepared and ready for the inevitable over the winter. So hope you enjoyed this tip. Click below to subscribe for more.